Two next what's going on? It's your boy, Big Big. Welcome back to my Black Universe. So, day one of the detox. We are two formulas in. I actually started late this morning. I got up late in the mud. I ain't gonna lie. I got up at 8, 8 o'clock. That's late for me. But, uh, yeah, we're two formulas in. All after rip, I've noticed uh, no adverse effects. I don't feel like nothing's really moving yet. They're like bowels, nothing like that. But that's I think that's formula number five or formula number six. But uh, other than that, I've been sweating crazy. I've been uh, feeling nauseous or anything like that. But this is day one. We have formula number two. About an hour and a half from now. Actually, about an hour. Yeah, about an hour and a half from now. I'll be on take formula number three. And we'll see what happens then. We'll see if the, you know if it's gonna be adverse effects or will the other two really kick in and things get moving while I start sweating. And, and I'm just gonna let you guys know, like you know, day one, not bad so far. Uh, into it, and I really hadn't been doing a lot of moving around other than uh, ripping and running in my car. I hadn't been doing a lot of um, activity where I'm standing up, moving, you know, jogging, working, or anything like that. But we are gonna hit the gym. We're gonna see how it affects us there. And see if it, you know, just kicks right in, or if it's gonna be a kind of an easy process, and my body's just gonna kind of baby me into the detox process, and then as we go along, it starts really pulling things out, or have I started doing so much healthy stuff that my body's not gonna be in shock, but it's just gonna aid pulling all the toxins out and discharging them. So we'll see. Check back with you, boy. Peace. All right, we're near the end of the day of, we're near the end of the day one of the detox. I just took formula number five. I had to take number four, number six in a couple hours. It's 8.25. So I got up early this morning, so I started the detox late. So I see why they put the numbers, you know, like so early, 7 a.m. just so you can get it. So after this, I still got to wait two more hours and then do the activated, um, the bin, uh, midnight charcoal do the charcoal line and do that overnight and so far so good man nothing abnormal uh a little bit of gas but that's it man and i mean just a little bit of gas nothing like oh man i gotta run to the restroom so so far so for me my experience is uh has been it's been great you know it's uh nothing crazy but that was i think number five is the the colon and all that so we'll see we'll see if uh I wake up in the middle of the night after the rush to it, and I'll let you guys know on day two if uh, that happens. Uh, and yeah, we'll take this a couple hours, and then a couple hours after that, we'll, we'll drink the uh, teaspoon with the water of the activated charcoal. Yeah, midnight. It's midnight. It's either midnight clay or activated charcoal. One or two. I, I'll put that in the video somewhere. But yeah, so. Um, so far, so good, man. I don't know what else to say. What's happening to next? Okay, so this is day two. So to kind of talk about day one, I didn't start feeling anything until later that night. And I had the uh, carbon slash athletic charcoal, that's what it was, um, mixing in water. Just so you know, the water's going to turn pitch black, but you're not going to taste anything other. You'll taste like the texture of it. But this, it doesn't have a flavor. So if you think it's gonna have this weird taste, it's some this one taste. It's not. It's just gonna taste like water. Except you just gonna have carbon and slash activated charcoal in it. Make sure you stir it up real, real good. All right, it's gonna be pitch black and take it to the head. It, it doesn't taste like anything. You just taste the texture. You feel the texture. Should I say you feel the texture on your tongue? And that's it. Um, and it's nothing crazy or makes you, it's nothing slimy or anything like that. So, but other than that, just a little bit of gas, man. That's it. Um, I don't, it, <clears throat> it, um, if you ever had that, uh, Cali Girl tea, it's not even, for me, it's not even it, near as, I don't know, as, uh, noticeable <laughs> as using that tea and, you know, midday, all of a sudden, you're like, oh, shoot, okay, it's just working. Let me go run to the restaurant. I don't feel like that at all. At least not in my case. So, we'll, uh, we'll see how day two goes. Well, day, uh, day two of the cleanse, and we'll see how all that goes, and uh, I'll let you know midday what's going on. Morning, YouTube family, my black universe, what's going on? Oh, oh, I don't lose, uh, 
So this is the top of day three. The reason why you don't have any more footage from day two, I got super busy at work. So I didn't get a chance to talk about anything, but nothing really eventful happened. Literally, just probably a little bit more gas like the uh, detox working through my intestinal area. But as far as throwing up or having to run, you know, run to the restroom, nothing out of the ordinary. Literally nothing out of the ordinary. Um, I do feel like it's helped me burn fat a little bit better. But it's hard to tell. You know, it's just the top of day three. I think about day five, we'll really start seeing, you know, legitimate results. And of course, day uh, 10, we should see some serious results. Day 15 and day 20 should be really be the culmination of all this. So this is day three. Two more days. I'll you put the video, all this together as a video, and you'll see it. But, yeah, so far so good. You know, I know some people have adverse effects. And throwing up, uh, but I'm you know, I've stopped drinking. I don't drink a lot of soda no more at all, so that's not an issue I have. Um, I'm gonna start cutting out the starchy foods, uh, the starchy carbs, heavy. Um, I had a salad yesterday, I made a salad, I, I, I bought a salad yesterday, but today I, I made a salad. It's about the spring mix and some walnuts and some uh, organic cranberries because I'm trying to find the cranberries with the least amount of sugar in it. And so, uh, yeah, man, we we doing this here. I got my gym bag with me. So after we get off work, straight to the gym. And uh, we're going to put this work in, man. I, I, you can do it. All right? You can do it. All right, Susan Nation. So it's uh, midday. Actually, about the end of the day. Work day, at least. For day three, I'm actually on. This is the last one. It's taking a couple hours from now. Or at least on this video. And, um, yeah, nothing crazy, man. Um, bowel movements, ain't nothing crazy about that. I'm not just, uh, exploding on the toilet or anything like that. I'm not having to rush to the toilet once again. So, um, pretty dope so far. It's a cleanse. The only thing is I am noticing, uh, I guess is the extra energy. Um, other than that, nothing significant. Once again, though, this is day three. So, the hope is by the time we hit day Five, and then we start making our way to day 10 and day 15 and day 20. I'll start feeling some significant changes and um, I'll be able to really kind of like, some, you know, report what's going on. So, all right, Jim Nation, this is the end of day three. I did a workout today uh, right after work and uh, I must say I feel pretty good. I feel like I actually got a, a quality workout in fast. So I didn't feel like I need to take longer to get my energy up or get warmed up to get a good workout in. So that's pretty dope. I think these pills are actually really working. Now, when I started a few days ago, uh, my weight was 299. I just checked my weight. And this is the evening, remember? This is the evening, not the morning. I'm 293. So I'm six pounds down. All right. So um, that's super dope. I think we're, we're off to a great start. Now, this is the uh, precursor of what this means of something great, should I say, rather. Um, it's just about to be dope. I'm hoping that it'd be super dope if I can get to like 280 by the 20 days, you know what I'm saying? Eating right, exercising, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the pea protein. I also got some, um, pea milk. And I know the, the plant, uh, milk, uh, made from peas. So that was dope. The chocolate milk. So I did that with the chocolate protein. And then, um, I threw some strawberries in there. It was perfect. Yeah, nothing else in there, no algae or nothing like that. So it was super dope. So yeah, man. Yeah, I feel like uh, this, this is a, this dope start, man. We're gonna we'll keep pushing, man. So day four up next. Two next number talk to you, man. Day four, real quick, real fast, nothing crazy. So I'm down from 399 to 391 this morning. If you saw the other video, you saw the other part of this video. I was 393 last night. I'm 391 this morning. And super dope, man. The workout, my workout last night was super dope. It didn't take me long to really get in the groove. Um, and I'm starting to feel more, it's become more eventful in the in the, the uh, digestive tract area. Uh, so, and I think it's part of it because I'm eating more solid foods as opposed to just having protein shakes all the time. So, uh, this is my experience, man. This is uh, it's pretty dope. There's nothing crazy. Like, uh, I, I drink the Cali Girl brand tea. This is nowhere near as 
noticeable <laughs> as far as discomfort in, in your intestinal tract or anything like that. So this is all pretty dope, man. It's a pretty dope situation. So we'll see. We'll see what goes on. Can I drop down to 270? My knees cleanse. Or even better. We'll see. And we'll do the weigh-ins. I'll try to get you guys some pictures and stuff. For the weigh-ins. What did I just step on? Okay, it's late. All right, though. Peace. All right, Jim Nation. So, I got off work not so long ago. Day four. Now, let's come to the end. I probably went into a, a late night edition. Because um, I'm wore out. And so, I don't know if it's just my body's, the, the, the detox is really just in my body and it's really starting to pull everything out. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see if I have the same feeling tomorrow. I'm we'll trying to get more rest tonight and see if that curbs uh, any of the fatigue I feel. Because I don't, I, I don't, I don't think it's side effects with fatigue. I know it's like diarrhea, uh, throwing up, you know, vomiting, and stuff like that. But I think fatigue is one. I'll check in, and if I do find that, I'll let you guys know um, sometime. Day four. <laughs> Peace. Tap two nation. Welcome to day five. Of the the herbs cleanse. So if you made it here, this is the first chapter of four. You know what I'm saying? There we, okay, there we go. Let's see, first chapter four. So I've been feeling fatigued, and um, part of it's me not going to bed. Probably more mental than physical, but I'm feeling fatigued. So I don't know. We'll see what that is as we start going to the next phase of this so well, once again nothing crazy I know so uh, there's been a lot of mucus drainage I guess you can say feeling feeling a little nauseous so I don't know if nobody's preparing itself to throw up but it's a it, the the uh the pills become more active and I feel like uh, probably this next phase I'll probably start uh, notice things that are a little more <laughs> I don't want to say excited because I ain't nothing excited about throwing up or having an extra But, you know, we'll, we'll see how the changes go when it's the next chapter. So, we're going to get some working out. We're going to go to the gym tonight. That's the plan. And uh, we're going to see, man. Yep. All right, good people. It's the end of day five. Um, I'm all out. So, not much to say. Hit the gym. Still with a bad session. I didn't feel like I needed a lot of warming up to do to get in there and get what I need to do and get done. And I feel super sluggish, so that's dope. So follow me for the next chapter. Stick with me, and we'll see the results each breakdown.